So we're at Ocasina. Uh, it's a Mexican restaurant in Tampa, Florida. Uh, I've been here, um, it's about two years ago and I was here for brunch and I really loved their, um, their take on different Mexican dishes. I always thought I would want to come back, but um, you know how time just flies. So Candy was coming back into Tampa, so I was like, oh, let's go check out Ocasina again for dinner this time. I ordered the Casina Margarita because I'm a huge <laughs> margarita fan. Everybody knows, if you know me, that I always get a margarita. Um, but they have a little twist to it. This is actually their signature drink, their Casina Margarita. They put a tomatillo foam over it, or on top, and it has like this smoky um, flavor to it. Uh, it's like a green tomato smoky flavor. So it's really, really good. Um, I just already took a sip when I take a sip again. Yes, it's um. I like that it has the right mixture of the sweet and sour. Um, it's actually pretty strong, so if you love margaritas, you'll love that. Uh, this has a little bit of a on the strong side. And uh, background on the bartender, he actually worked in Vegas as a bartender for ten years, and then uh, started working at a casino, and he's been here ever since the restaurant opened. I love bourbon. So the bartender made something special. Put some bourbon in here. Try that. And look at the ice. I don't know if you can tell. But even the ice is fancy. Mmm. <laughs> I can taste the bourbon. Really, really good. If you're a bourbon fan, I think you're gonna really like this. Just got served some chips and their homemade guacamole. It's nice and fresh. Mm. I love fresh guacamole. So oh good. I'm trying the pork belly and said to make sure to like put the onions and the sauce and mix it all together because that's when you'll get like the perfect flavor. I'm like having trouble like, <laughs> like so excited about this. Like that. Onions. Oh, can't get the onion. <laughs> there you go. Mm. It's really tender. I like the mixture of flavors. It's it's different from other pork belly I've had. Cause usually I have pork belly in Asian restaurants, and it has more like a soy sauce based flavor. So this, is a bit, this is very different from what I'm used to, and I really like it. So something new for me. <laughs> I love fried food, so I thought this would be perfect for me. Sounds nice and crispy. Mmm, chicken is like really, um, really flavorful, nice and moist. I love the crunch that when you take into the first bite. It's so good. I got the heirloom tomato salad. Look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, there goes the juices. <laughs> I really love shaved onions when it's like super thinly sliced with my tomatoes. And it's a vinaigrette type of dressing, which is perfect for onions. At least for me, I think that that flavor of the vinaigrette and the onion is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and like. Those tomatoes are so fresh and juicy. I that was so refreshing. I really like it when salmon, like, it's charred on top. I like it, it's like crispy. Mm. That is so good. I wanted to try the salmon first without any sauce on it to see how, like, juicy it was it's cooked really well like I mean like not like well done but like cooked to perfection so let me try it with the sauce and the squash 
I love mushrooms, so I'm excited to have mushrooms with the salmon. sauce is perfect for salmon. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's delicious. So this is the pollo and mole poblano. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know I'm saying pollo right. But it's chicken, uh, spice red pap chicken with green rice and house crema. I do love their presentation here. Mm. This is really good. Wow. I love, um, so I barely put sauce on it right now, and the flavors are still really good. I love the spice rub on it. So now I'm gonna try it with um, all the sauces. That's really good. Oh, on top of there, there's uh, sesame seeds too. And me and Candy we always put sesame seeds on top of our rice. So this is like, this is our jam. This is like up our alley right here. This is so good. All right, so me and Crystal, we're not experts at Mexican cuisine, but we do love it. And every time we eat it, we're like, that's really good. But we never really look up what it is. So when the next time we go to a Mexican restaurant or or any like fusion Mexican restaurant, we're just like, what did we have before? Because we can't, we never really take the time to look up the flavors that we really enjoy. So this time, we made it a point to do it. We really liked this uh, mole poblano. It's like this really like kind of like darkish red color sauce, and we are really enjoying this. So we looked it up, and you guys, <laughs> you might already know what it is, but we had no idea. And it's actually chocolate. There's chocolate in it. And we're like, what? Because <laughs> we're not huge chocolate fans. I mean, we like chocolate, but we don't crave it. So that really, uh, I don't want to say shocked, but we both were like, chocolate? I had no idea that the whole time these flavors we were really loving had chocolate in it. I have a cookie dessert with chocolate ganache. Uh, dressing. <laughs> Sounds like salad dressing, but it has some chili in it, so I'm excited for this. And uh, also, I can't even talk because I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> it's like I don't even want to talk, so I don't even need it. With the ice cream and the warm cookie, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna pour it. That cookie on the bottom is still really, really warm. It's like it just came out of the oven. It's so good. And it's got that hint of spiciness to it at the end. Like I didn't taste it at first. Then like I really, really soak in the flavors and after two to three bites, I'm really tasting that chili. But it's not overpowering. So if you're afraid it's gonna be spicy, don't worry. It's like perfect. We had to get two desserts, of course. Uh, and this time we also got, ooh, the creme brulee. I just cracked the sugar. Uh, it looks like they like charred the fruits a little bit too. I don't know if you could tell like the strawberry there looks like there's a little bit of char on that. Um, I'm gonna dig in. Mm. We like a, um, it's a fruit flavor, the creme brulee. So this creme brulee is really good. Um, and I usually pick creme brulee over anything else, but that cookie dessert was amazing. I couldn't stop eating it. So even though this creme brulee is really good, I'm gonna say that cookie dessert is the winner, so you're gonna have to get that. And also maybe get the creme brulee if you need two desserts. Dish we had and cocktail we had was really good. 
really outstanding. Um, but out of all the dishes we tried, by far, um, the blackened chicken, so it was the pollo and mole poblano, the best. I mean, the chicken, the spice rub on it was amazing. And then you put the mole sauce on top. Oh, to die for. I mean, really, really good. Like, usually when you look on the menu, I usually wouldn't pick, like, chicken, but trust me, when you come to Okafina, you have to pick the chicken one, the pollo and moe. I can't even say it right. The chicken one, the pollo. Um, but yeah, it's the mole sauce, which, by the way, Kay and I just learned, it's the chocolate with the chili mix in, apparently. And um, Mexican dishes, it's like a super traditional thing, and everybody makes their own mole sauce. Um, so they make their own mole sauce and it is so good. Um, and then the other thing that I really loved, of course, for dessert was the cookie dessert with, um, the, again, it's like the chili sauce on top. And I'm not even like a spicy um, person. I, mean, I don't like spicy dishes too much. I do, but I don't like prefer them. So it was, it's weird that my two favorite dishes had chili in it and um, this chocolate a uh, ganache um, skillet dish was um, it was warm and it had the vanilla ice cream on top. So good that I ate almost all of it and didn't give candy any. But yeah, excellent, excellent place. Um, definitely recommend everybody to come here. If you haven't come back in a while like me, you need to come back now because I think I like waited too long to come back and I'm gonna come back more often now. So we both had a ton of dishes and we both have our favorites. Crystal and I do have different um, likes and dislikes in food, but we did like everything here. We loved everything here. Um, her favorite was the chicken, which I love that too. But I will say that I also really equally enjoyed the salmon. Um, I love fish and salmon in particular when I go out to eat, I like to order salmon because I don't really cook it myself that much. And it was cooked perfectly. Sometimes I get disappointed when I go to restaurants and the salmon is way overcooked and it just it's so disappointing because then you went out to eat to get salmon that someone could cook it for you much better than yourself. And they did it perfectly here. Um, so huge, huge, huge thank you for cooking the salmon perfectly. Um, another dish that I really enjoyed was the heirloom tomato salad. If you love light um, salads and if you really like tomatoes, especially the cherry tomatoes, you need to get that. Um, it was um, a thyme vinaigrette and I've never had a vinaigrette like that. Very, very, how do I say it? Um, I felt like I was eating tomatoes fresh out of the garden. <laughs> and I had sliced uh, onions too, which I'm a big fan of onions. So huge, huge props to the heirloom tomato salad. And desserts. I think Crystal and I, we both, um, we both equally liked the cookie uh, the most. I mean, the creme brulee was really good too, and I usually go for that as well when I eat dessert, but I will say that I enjoyed the cookie a lot more because it was so warm, and then that ice cream kind of like cooled down that hint of chili that you taste afterwards. Perfect. So, to wrap it up, I give them an A plus, and thank you for bringing me here, Crystal. I, I mean, when I first saw the brunch photos, I was just in love with all their succulents here. <laughs> so, I love the succulents and the food, and thank you.